Hello my lovely Taurus, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to go ahead and do your weekly reading. It is a general reading so it may not be able to resonate for all of you and if you want something that is meant for your exact energy then I do have personals open and everything that you'll need to know will be in the description box below for you. We are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, Taurus. We have treating you right. Alone. And hope. with running at the bottom of the deck. Treating you right, alone, and hope. All right, Taurus, we're gonna take a look at your energy towards this person, and then we'll look at their energy towards you, okay? Then we'll look at a potential outcome and some advice. So this person could be the one running or maybe you were the one running. You have a wish come true right under this. So there could be some kind of um, positive shift coming in, especially with this hope energy here as well. Something could happen that does give you a glimmer of hope here, Taurus. That's what this kind of feels like to me. So let's take a look. Show me this person's energy or show me Taurus's energy towards this person, please. What is Taurus's energy towards this person? What is Taurus's energy towards this person, please? We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Wands in the reverse, the Five of Swords in the reverse, and the Eight of Cups. We got the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there's something unexpected. We're going to be clarifying these after we get your, or clarifying what we need to after we get your, this their person, this person's energy out on the table as well. But with this Wheel of Fortune energy and the thoughts, I feel like there is something kind of unexpected that occurs this week for you guys when it comes to this person or situation. And I do kind of feel like it comes in at a time when you guys were just giving up on a situation. The to me, the nine of or the nine of wands in the reverse can be a card of giving up on a situation or letting go of a situation here. I think you're just tired. You're tired of holding on. It's been hard on you. I think you're realizing that, yeah, letting go is hard, but holding on is hard too. Now with this five of swords here in the reverse, to me that is feeling like one, something could be coming a little bit more clear. Maybe something isn't as confusing or conflicted as it was and that could be due to this unexpected thing that we're going to have to clarify. I also feel that it can be a card of remorse. You could have things that you feel bad for within this connection. Somebody could be feeling that way towards you. You both could have that. Um, but the Eight of Cups to me, um, you know, I feel like there is some kind, whether it's like distancing yourself or walking away from something we're gonna have to take a look but we're gonna look at their we're gonna get their energy out on the table first show me this person's energy towards taurus please what is this person's energy towards taurus what is their energy towards taurus please Eight of Wands is a general overall energy. As their general overall energy. The Two of Pentacles, they could, honestly, they could be... To me, this looks like kind of going back and forth, trying to decide about some kind of communication. There could be something that they want to say here. Um, they could be deciding whether they want to communicate or not, or just what to say. Three of Pentacles here as well, which I do like. I think this person is two of cups here in the reverse. I feel like this person is acknowledging that there has been some kind of disconnect here between the two of you or that you guys have had some poor communication in the past. But this three of pentacles can be getting, it's like getting along, getting on the same page, working together. It is a very positive energy. 
the Knight of Wands in the area of their thoughts. So there is some kind of action that they're wanting to take. To me, the Knight of Wands is a card of desire. So there's something here that they're wanting to take. Even this Two of Wands talks about stepping out of a comfort zone. So they could be a little bit afraid to have this conversation with you or reach out to you in this way because it is showing up as something that they do or desire to do, but it does require them to step out of some kind of comfort zone. It Then the devil here also can represent fears as well. You know, there's some fears that they have to kind of push through here. The six of cups for their outcome or for their action. To me, this isn't a huge action card, but it is a card of reflecting on the past and it can be a shift as well. You know, sometimes I see it as the, a blessing from the universe, a gift from the universe. And sometimes that gift is something finally moving forward in a very stagnant situation. But we're going to clarify some things. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune energy for Taurus, please. Queen of Swords in the reverse. You felt like this person didn't want to communicate with you or this conversation was never going to happen. The devil, maybe the last time that you guys did communicate. I feel like some of you guys, the last conversation you had with this person did not go well at all. Okay. And uh, you maybe felt like this was not something that was going to happen again. And now I feel like there is some kind of communication that is going to be happening. And I do feel that it is um, a lot more positive than you expected. It goes a lot differently than you expected it to. And I feel like that could take you by complete surprise. Tell me about this Five of Swords in the reverse. Why is the Five of Swords in the reverse here? We have the Six of Swords. I feel like you're my so well, other aspect that may be very surprising is I feel like how much you're able to get past conflict with this person in just one conversation. It's like you guys are able to have a conversation that you didn't think that you were ever going to have with this person and it goes in a way that you never expected it to go and it allows you guys to get past more than you ever thought you could like it's a it's a total shocking energy here and maybe that's what you're leaving behind here with this eight of cups the king of cups and the lover's card i feel like you could be leave, what you could be leaving behind is a lot of conflict here you could be walking away from a lot of conflict with this person Tell me about this Knight of Wands energy. Why is that here? The Hermit. So somebody has done, in this space that you guys haven't been communicating, somebody has done a lot of reflecting on it. They're kind of seeing things in a higher perspective. Now they're seeing something in a different way. Tell me about this Two of Wands, the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. They could be afraid to give too much to this. Maybe in the past this person has given too much to situations and it was unequal give and take. Okay, maybe they just want to know that you're going to treat them right. Maybe they're afraid to give too much and open themselves up. It can also be a fear of rejection. They could be afraid that you're not willing to give any longer. Tell me about this devil energy. The hangman. There's definitely this uh, energy here between this hermit and this hangman of seeing something in a new way. I feel like they've been stuck in this place of fear for a long time. I feel like they're getting ready to move out of that. Tell me about the Six of Cups, Two of Swords. More stagnant energy here. But the Magician finally figuring out what they want. So we're going to see what the potential outcome is here. I think we're going to use these. What's the potential outcome in this situation? Okay. The Knight of Swords, so there's definitely going to be communication And the strength card. Someone's going to find the courage to reach out. They've been thinking about it for a while. This conversation is going to happen. Queen of Swords. You didn't think it was going to. I feel like this person has been thinking about it. Even if they haven't ex been expressing it. I think it's going to take you by surprise. I feel like it comes in very unexpected. The conversation goes much differently than you thought it could. I think that you guys are going to be able to get past a lot here. Even if you don't want to be with this person, Taurus, although, you know, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you do. Even if you don't, the connection is still here. I feel like you guys are at least able to put a lot of the conflict behind you guys. And I feel like there's a, a lot of potential for at least closure here, okay? So I do, I feel like this is very, very unexpected, the way that this all plays out. Uh, the conversation in general, the communication in general, how it goes, uh, what you're able to 
talk about and work through, I think is all going to really just take you by surprise. Okay. But that is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, then check out your other placements, everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, Patreon, the tarot course, all of that is in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want personal prayers for any reason, you guys can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and for supporting me and I will see you soon.